welcome back with cooking with Nana um, today I will teach you how to do stuffed um, chicken wings or we call um, other people we call it angel wing but um, in Lao we call um, nhat bi gai. so so the main ingredients I have here is the chicken so the chicken wings so this is I have 24 chicken wings and I um, took the drum of the wings, the big part out, took the bone and the meat and had made it as a pocket, like this. Make, make it as a pocket. So I did, make sure you rinse it real good, your chicken and stuff. So after I, um, I um, took the bone and the meat and I came and chopped it. You can use a food um, presser, um, food mixer, like you know, to mix your meat and stuff, and then to make it um, make it ground ground chicken, like that. So, top all is like three cups of the ground chicken out from the chicken end. I use this um, seasoned mix for chicken. I'm going to mix this with my chicken wings to bring it um, colors and flavor to the wings. And I have two tablespoons of um, thin soy sauce. Um, I prefer using this brand now because it brings a little bit more flavor to it. And um, it's not that too salty. And then I have oyster sauce. Oyster sauce probably like um, I use... Four, four to five tablespoons and then sugar one tablespoon of sugar one tablespoon of MSG is an option if you don't want to use MSG you can use the like a chicken um, flavor um, kind and um, black pepper I have one tablespoon black pepper and you can use the um, fresh crushed one and this is like a, a cup of green onions thin slice and this is like two cup of um, yellow onions and this is my um, dry mushrooms this is the mushroom I use I soaked it in warm water and after it's soft I rinse it real good with warm water again and then after that I squeeze it squeeze the water out and this is how it will be look like and then I slice it and then this is my uh, bean thread noodle okay and in Lao we would call selang so I soaked it I use um, six of this six bundle that it comes into like this so I use six of this to soak in warm water once it's all soaked in and soft I brought it and um, cut it in small pieces and then this mushroom, or you just slice it real thin. Okay. You can use use your knife to chop it. Like I say, if you have the food um, press, <laughs> I can't say that word. A food mix that. Chop all your food or your vegetable, it's fine. Once it's chopped, just put it on the side. Okay, okay the first thing I'm going to do is mix my chicken first. Because I want my chicken to have flavors. It soaks into flavors inside. I'm going to use one pack. Of the chicken flavor season in here. Okay. No. This one I use half of it, so I'm gonna use a half, one and a half, and one fourth cup of water. And then the sugar, I'm just going to add a little bit of sugar. 
Let me see. Half of the sugar from them there. And then it was two tablespoons from here. So I'm going to use one tablespoon from it. Gonna mix it real good. Okay, rinse my hand. What well, I'm gonna use? Well, fresh pepper. and a little bit of MSG. It's an option. If you want MSG in it, you can. If you don't, you don't have to. Mix it again. Okay. After this is done, I'm gonna set it on the, on the side to let it um, you can use the um, um, turmeric to, to make it more yellow if you want to, but um, this is fine with me. It will get yellow when it's um, um, all mixed together. And I'm going to show you how I mix my other ink, um, the stuffing of the chicken wings. Oh, I add um, this um, Mexican season for the chicken. You see how it changed to different color? It, in the box, it's like this. You can um, put it on your chicken, your beef, whatever, or on your rice. And I use three pack of this small one and put it in here. So it turns to yellow. I've got to mention about this one also. I'm sorry. So if you find this, that would be in a Mexican store, any store that you find. This one brings more flavor to your chicken also. Makes it more yellow. So... I use combine them two together. So three small pack of this and a, a pack and a half of the season. So that's what I use. So I'm going to set this aside. So I'm, my next step is to show you how to do mayonnaise my chicken. Chicken. And I am going to put the leftover of the thin soy sauce in here sugar MSG is option okay and then I'm gonna use half of this for right now because I don't want to make it too um, salty sure everything's all mixed together black pepper the onion if you like less onion you can put less onion because the onion brings into it like the sweetness um, and make your meat a little bit soft. Okay. And the uh, mushroom. The mushroom, total ball, I use like probably 25 that I chop in here.
thread noodle. Mix it well. green onion. Okay. Then you can just go microwave it or um fry real quick to taste how you want it. So I'm gonna microwave and see. Put the rest of the sauce in here. So it should be perfect. Like I say, it's depend how, how do you like the taste of your meat inside. You want it, you know, perfect. Just t keep tasting it. You know, make sure it mix all in together real good. If you want to add more black pepper, you can. If you want to add more um, soy sauce, you can. But I think I'm happy with, with mine. I don't want it too, to come out too salty. Okay, and then my next step is gonna show you how to stuff the, the wing. So everything is all set to um, stuff. So this is the chicken, Diamani. You can do this for a long time to um, let it soak there. So I got my wings, my stuff. Stuff it in the chicken wing hole. Did it sound right? Stuff in the chicken wing hole. <laughs> Stuff in the chicken pocket here. That much better than hole, right? Oh, like that. Squeeze. And how much can you stuff it in? It takes time. One is in. You can use this to fold it like that. And then set on the side. And continue. Keep, you can make this as a ball. Stuff it in the pocket. And then have your oven on to 350. You this you can bake or you can deep fry. In summertime you can grill it too. I'm gonna continue finish this and I'm gonna put it in my oven and show you how it turned out. And then I'm gonna show you how the one I um, deep fry also. So this is how my stuffed chicken will be look like. It's all stuffing. Like I said, when you stuff it, if there's extra skin, just fold it. I put some of them in the oven already. I bake, so it takes like you know hour. It depends how you know. Just keep your eye on it. Check in an hour and stuff. And then the rest, I will show you how to fry it. Some people would do fry. Some people would do bake. In the oven or grill so I have flour you can use all-purpose flour and just add you know season this one I have. this is the one I use for my fried chicken this one have with um, pepper and garlic flavor in it already so you don't have to season your flour or anything so I'm not gonna 
Some people put water to make it wet and, and deep their chicken it, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to pat the chicken on the flour and fry it. Just to bring a little bit out of cr um, um, crunch. So I would grab the chicken and I already um, start my um, pot with oil in it. like this and shake it use one hand for the chicken one hand with the with the flour so I grab this hand with my other chicken and I use this hand to flour Once you're going to fry it, just shake the rest of the flour out. I'm going to do one more. This one, you can smell the garlic and the pepper into this flour already. That's already mixed it in for you. I'm gonna go check my um, fryer to see if it's ready. So my pot is ready. Here's my chicken. Here it goes. So we're gonna let it cook, deep fry it until it gets all cooked and brown. Flip it. I can add my third one in there. Take the rest of the flour. what I have my nyat pikai I have one this one I put in the oven I bake it on 350 to um, like an hour hour and a half so I can make sure my chicken is cooked so this see how it looks like it's all yellow and stuff and the other one I um, fry them this kind I use you see it's different this one I use the flour um, to coat the flour on top of the chicken it will turn out like this and then this one with no flour so I mostly like prefer with the one with no flour I like it the way how it comes out natural how yellow it is and and then you can serve it with rice I have um, soy this is soy sauce with garlic and chilies and add a little bit squeeze some limes and a little bit sugar and this is the the chicken chili sauce that comes in the bottle, you know, kids like to dip in. So I'm going to grab a, a piece of the chicken wings, the grilled one. You can slice it like this. You see? See? That's the, that's how it looks like. That's the grilled one. Put it right here. And this is the fry one. This is the fry one with the flour in it, okay? Like I say, if you like to fry, you can fry. If you like to grill, you can grill them. So there's some bone in there. Can't. So that's how it looks like. That's the other one, like this. And then the one, this one, the third one, with no flowers. Just the way it is, I'll 
up from this package and I just fry it. You can hear the crunch of the skin. This is how you do it. So you can have the grill one. You can have the fry one with um, um, with flowers, and you can have um, one without flowers. And this is all the the stuffed chicken wing would look like. Um, this is my um, my angel wings. Would you people would call angel wings? People would call stuffed wing. In La, we call nyat. So, um, I would, gonna taste it. I have Talina here. She wants to taste the wing. Okay. And what about Kobe? Would you like to come and taste it too? Come on, give me Kobe, please. Okay. So, you want to come, Kobe? This is my, this is my son, Kobe. Kobe, say somebody. Somebody. Okay. They're being shy. Okay. This one is grilled, this one is um, fried with no flour, and this one is um, fried with flour in it. So, which one you guys want to taste? This is the sauce you guys want to dip in. You want to dip in the sauce or no? You like the way it is? Let me taste. Mm. The stuffing turned out perfect the way I like it. Um, you can taste the mushroom, the onions, the green onions, and the chicken and the noodle. So like this, you can dip this in your sauce like this. Or you can eat it with rice. Have this, this sauce. If people like spicy, you can put this on the... Chili on top of it. This is my um, this is my um, stuffed chicken wings, angel wings, or um, yap and big guy. Mix all my pen Batsy, and this is how mine gonna be look like. If you like to try it, go ahead and try it. And this is how it will be like. Like I said, mother, mother, makin big. Or angel wings or stuffed wing. Come over and have dinner with us. This is a chicken wing. So I'm gonna do stuffed chicken wing. I use a small kiwi kiwi knife use um, the one that have a, a point it's easier so all you do is just try to pull the skin back and take out from the meat the meat out from the skin like this just go around it be careful with the knife you don't want to cut yourself See the tip of the knife? You just and pull the skin back a little bit. Keep falling. Falling the skin out from the meat. Because we want to make that pocket. Pull it, pull, pull it back, cut, try not 
had to make a hole into the skin. You see that part of this right here, you can hear it, the soft bone right there. You can crack it or you can use your knife and sh push it in, cut that piece out. It's a lot of work. And I'm going to put stuff in the stuffing in the wings. You can do all of it here, but I just like the part of here, the meat, and just the tip of this. I like to stuff it in. So I have one more. Do one more time. Just stretch it. Find a good place where you Pull the skin away from the meat and then use your knife to slice the meat out from the skin. Be careful. Okay. And once you get there, just keep Pull the skin back. Pull the skin. There's the part of the meat joint. Just use your knife, the tip of your knife, poke the where the soft the joint of the chicken is at. go and then the rest of the meat of the chicken all we do just save this take your meat you can save the bone to make chicken broth but the meat Once we got the chicken out, slice it real thin. And we're gonna chop it. You can use a um, food, um, food um, 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 mixer if you have the machine. And then this is how it turned out. I chopped, I did this earlier. It's like a ground chicken. Okay, so the chicken that I did, I put in a Ziploc bag. I can freeze it up whenever I feel like bring it out so I don't have to make it often. So this is how I pack it up. There's 12 wings that fits in this big Ziploc bag. And then just freeze it up when you bring want to bring it out. Just bring it out and um, defrost it. Let it sit on the kitchen counter or the sink. And then when it's ready, you can fry it or grill it or whatever you want. And so next time it's ready for you to have the angel wing or stuffed wing or nyap big dai in Lao. So how you guys like it? It's good? They say it. thumbs up. Show them your thumbs up. Talina only did one thumbs up. Kobe did two. <laughs> okay, Talina did three, two. She can't do three because she doesn't have 